Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me today for Coffee and the Word, that time each day that we examine a portion of God's Word, and then we seek to apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. That's what it means to be transformed into the image of Jesus. We're continuing on in our thoughts on wisdom from the book of Proverbs using Tim uh, and Kathy Keller's book on Proverbs for Daily Life. Today, we want to take our thoughts again from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 11 and 12. The scriptures teach us, My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves. As a father, the son he delights in. So our thoughts today are simply this. Learn from adversity. It's the fifth mark of wisdom, and it means that wisdom has to do with adversity and trouble in our lives. Often, a generous heart and life can lead to increasing financial prosperity, but verses 11 and 12 show this is by no means an absolute rule. The word is riddled with evils and mysteries and troubles beyond human grasping and fixing. The mark of wisdom is to be ready for suffering. If you aren't, you aren't competent with regard to the realities of life. But suffering is also a discipline for growth in wisdom. It can drive you toward God in greater love and strength or away from him into hardness of heart. Given that suffering is inevitable, and it's going to make you either wiser or more foolish, what should you do? You should accept your troubles as means for spiritual growth and part of the plan of loving the Heavenly Father. If you can do nothing else, you can always glorify God by having a trusting attitude toward Him as you suffer, rather than becoming bitter. And the best way to do that is to look at God the Son suffering infinitely for you. That will help you trust him as you suffer. Let me ask you, are you ready for adversity? Why or why not? Perhaps this prayer will help us today. Father, when things are going wrong for me, the last thing I want to do are to pray and to trust you. Yet I've come to see that if I just cling to you in prayer during the stormy times, I'm spiritually stronger, not weaker for it. Please remind me of what I am saying today when the next time comes. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.